Hello Aries, welcome to your July reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. What are we gonna look at? We're gonna look at the person you're thinking about or connecting with in love. So just whomever is on your mind. We're gonna see how this plays out in July. We'll take a look at the recent past, current energy, what's on their mind. What do they think of you, Aries? How do they feel about you? What are they gonna do next? What are their plans when it comes to you? What are they hiding? advice and what's your outcome with this person throughout july could be any love situation hell maybe you've only been on a one date maybe you're married maybe you're completely single well this will be the next person coming in for you extended reading is below check that out that link is in the description box and pinned in the comment section we're gonna see what their energy looks like so this is overall energy in the extended we're gonna see what they're really up to what they're feeling, what they're thinking, and how this will all play out after July. So it'll kind of be like a future forecast for the two of you. Is it now or is it forever, right? All right, in the comment section, let me know the best sign you've ever dated. Find your batch and your twin below. Plus, I'm just nosy. All right, let's get to it. What does the recent past look like, Aries? You've got the Ten of Pentacles. We're gonna lay out all the cards. So if you're new here, I lay out all my cards and then I go through everything and we'll clarify. What's the current energy right now between the two of you? We've got a King of Swords. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or they have that in their chart, or they're just taking on that energy. What are they thinking about the past and the present energy? What's on their mind? Seven of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. What does this person think of you throughout July, Aries? We've got a Queen of Swords. So now we've got a king and a queen of swords. Sometimes that can be X energy. Sometimes that can be the energy of, you know, we're kind of just distant, a little bit cold and icy towards each other. Got Libra there. How are they feeling about you throughout July? The six of swords, you might be at a distance. What are their plans moving forward? What do they want out of this? Nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. What's in the hidden factors? What are they hiding? The wheel of fortune. What's your advice from Spirit Aries when it comes to this energy? The Seven of Cups. And what's your outcome throughout July? We've got a Six of Wands. So typically Leo energy. Again, y'all, it can be anybody. I just, people like to know the signs. So I talk about it. All right. Let me take a look at this here. Hey, by the way, if this resonates and you're watching the reading, go ahead and give it the thumbs up. Mine as well, right? If it resonates, if it doesn't, check out your moon or your rising sign. All right, what is going on? This could be somebody you're connecting with, Aries, who maybe there have been talks about, like, I'm kind of getting that energy of where is this relationship going, right? You seemed like you were committed. Maybe we were committed in a long-term relationship. There were talks of that. And now you're being kind of icy, a little detached. This person wants to speak their truth, though. They're cutting out some BS. And there could be a sit down this month, an important conversation. What's on their mind is, uh-oh, I got caught maybe hiding my feelings. Maybe I told you I wanted forever. Something, they feel guilty about something or something's coming to light. All right, what does Aries need to know about love in July? What does this all look like? We're gonna find out. All right, so in the recent past between the two of you, we have a Ten of Pentacles, Aries. What is it? What is the Ten of Pentacles all about? The Eight of Wands. Oh, by the way, y'all, sorry if there's background noise. I'm a mom who juggles a lot, and I'm doing laundry right now, and it just can't wait. So I hope it's not too distracting. We've got a Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so communication. And it could have even been like progress and change. Maybe you felt this change with this person. You know, that Eight of Wands is p passionate. It is a lot of back and forth communication. So there could have been talks about this, you know? Like, I want this to go long term. Where do you see our future? Your person right now that you're thinking about or will be connecting with, we've got a King of Swords. What's this about? And the Seven of Cups. All right, what's this King of Swords with the Seven of Cups? Why is this the current energy? And the Emperor, there you are saying hi to mom. Major Arcana for Aries. If you're new to tarot, there are 22 cards in the deck we refer to as Major Arcana, and it's just big shifts in energy, not a whole lot of free will there. All right. 
this person does want to have a conversation. There's communication. It could even be something like this. I'm a little bit confused. I feel a little overwhelmed. Maybe I own a business or I'm a higher up. There's a lot going on. I do want to be that divine masculine to you. I just feel overwhelmed. So I think that you can expect the energy right now. If they seem detached or cold, it's because they feel overwhelmed. I don't really see this as options. I feel like they were on board and then something's happened and now you feel like they're being cold and icy. But really what it is, is when it comes to overcoming obstacles in their life, they're going to. I mean, this is a stand-up energy, but they feel a little bit confused or a little overwhelmed. That's why the Seven of Swords is on their mind, Aries. What's this about? Yeah, see, they've got a lot of anxiety and worry. And so at one point, they could have, again, there could have been talks like, like, yeah, let's move in together. Let's be monogamous. Let's get engaged. Let's get married. I want to build this life with you. Uh-oh, I'm really busy. There's a lot going on. I feel overwhelmed. Uh-oh, I told Aries this was the next step. And, you know, maybe I, you know, maybe I shouldn't have promised that when I did. I still want it. They want it because that Nine of Swords is on their mind. That's the worry and the anxiety. I feel like this person just has a lot going on in their life right now. What's this Nine of Swords about? Oh my God, we've got a Queen of Swords again. Libra energy. And again, I feel like this is Aries. Like, come on, speak up. Spit out your truth. Where is this headed? Do you want to be my divine masculine? Queen of Swords wants the truth. And also they know that they can open up and communicate to you. But again, with that Seven of Swords in reverse on their mind, they're a little bit afraid, like they put their foot in their mouth. It's not that I don't feel that they don't want this with you. It's just they kind of are trying to do too much, right? And they know you're the no-nonsense queen. Like, you want the truth. Spill it out. Because they also view you as the Queen of Swords. What's this about? And the Six of Wands. Success, victory. They know that you want that. And they also know that you're ready to hear it. You know, like, where is this going? Is there success tied to our future? Six of Wands, or are you being wishy-washy? Are you gonna juggle me? Are you gonna go back and forth? I want the truth. Also too, they view you as being in that energy of like, hey, do you wanna date other people? What's going on? I thought I meant the world to you. So again, taking, they know that you're gonna be taking on that very no-nonsense energy and you're not going to accept anything but the truth. What's going on in their emotions? How are they feeling about you throughout July? Six of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to get through some mucky water, some mucky times. That Six of Swords, maybe the obstacle is that you're at a distance, but I think moreover, emotionally how they feel, they're like, let me just get through this at work. Let me deal with my ex. Let me deal with my family. Like, let me just get through all of this. I do mean it when I tell you I want a future with you. Ace of Pentacles. This is, again, that new beginning. It's like, all right, let's plant the pentacle. We got to nurture it, water it, take care of it. And then it grows into that 10 of pentacles, right? So it's almost like they're just kind of having to take a step back. And you may or may not realize that, right? You may not know why. How do they want to move forward with you? So what are their plans throughout July? This is just throughout July. Nine of pentacles with the king of cups. Scorpio energy. Could be anybody. But again, those cups represent love and emotion and healing and all that beautiful energy. The King of Cups loves unconditionally. It's very mature energy. Doesn't always show it, but feels it. He's got that undying emotion and love for you. This is a very mature masculine energy. And for those of you who are like, I'm not, this isn't me, I don't have anybody. This is what you're manifesting. This is the type of energy that's coming into your life, your next person. But moving forward with that Nine of Pentacles, I think what you can expect is them to kind of be on their own a little bit. Not a breakup, not cheating, anything like that. That Nine of Pentacles is I have to nurture a situation. Maybe my career, maybe my money. So there are going to be times where they're like, all right, I'm going to be in my office working. Or, oh, I'm going to go to bed early. I'm exhausted. You can be in a relationship and be the Nine of Pentacles. It's just a very kind of independent energy, but it's around nurturing and fostering your career and your money. But again, they love you. They have that emotion for you. And I think that they will at times because they feel a little bit of anxiety about what you might be thinking, show you and do something nice and a romantic gesture. King of Cups, yeah, with the star, sign of Aquarius. They're hopeful that you guys can get through this. Remember, in their emotions, they want to move on to that better place, more so mentally, and have this new beginning. 
maybe even take it to the next level, engagement, moving in together, whatever it is for you. But they're hopeful with the star. The star Aquarius energy is that energy of that's what I want. I'm going to manifest. I'm hopeful that this is my star. This is my everything. It's beautiful energy with that king of cups and the star. Those of you who broke up with someone, you're on a break, they're acting weird, whatever. This person is still hopeful that you guys can, can grow, but they've got some ish to get through this month. What are they hiding? What's in the hidden factors? Got the Wheel of Fortune with the Magician. Major for Gemini, Virgo. Yeah, manifesting. Also, too, I think this person is using all their tools to create a better opportunity when it comes to their money, their job. The Magician says, listen, I got the passion for you. I got all the stability. I have the mental energy. I have the love. I have everything I need. Let me throw it in this bowl, mix it up, and make it happen. Use the law of attraction. Two major arcana here as to what they're hiding. But this is all about change, and they're really hoping for the better. They want the wheel to move in your favor, and they're hopeful that it will. But with the magician, there is that strong magnetic pull towards you. It's creating something new. It's major arcana number one. So again, after a little bit of rough patch here, they are hopeful also with that Ace of Pentacles, that you can create something new, manifest, and move forward. That being said, I also feel like they're ready for change when it comes to the relationship outside of you as well for the future. With these two majors, it just makes me feel like they really are thinking about the future, but they want everything to be stable and they want to be able to create a beautiful life. What's your advice from Spirit? You've got the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, you know, it doesn't always have to be options. It can, on an emotional level, you can be a bit overwhelmed, right? There's a lot going on, confused even. I think it's more just an overwhelming energy. Seven of Cups, yep, with the Six of Swords, but better times are coming. Now, maybe even towards the beginning, middle of July, you feel as though, God, there's so much going on with us. Can we actually have time together? or to make time to bring balance to this relationship. Spirit's telling you, yeah, but it's gonna be a really kind of overwhelming, very busy month. For some of you, you're either healing from something physically or they are. But this, and that's kind of what has distracted the connection from you know a lot of time towards your energy between each other. There's like a heal, like somebody's been ill, there's healing going on. You'll get there though. You gotta just hang in there. I'm not mad at this person or this energy. I'm really not. What's the outcome between the two of you? So towards the end of July here, we've got a six of wands. Why is the six of wands here for Aries in love with the moon? Oh, I hate that damn moon and the outcome. Pisces Cancerian energy, because the moon really can be like the unknown, right? That six of wands, though, there's victory, there's success. I think this person's going to also start paying you more attention towards the end of the month because of the moon, right? I also feel as though their intuition starts to kick in and they're like, wait a minute, I've been spending too much time on everything but Aries. What's this moon about? And the world, a new cycle starting. The world is achievement, it's success. And again, I feel like this is external to your connection. They're completing something that's really important and that's where kind of their energy and attention has been. I feel like a lot of you maybe, maybe now or even the last couple of weeks, maybe a little suspicious, like is this person really into me? Are there other people? Like what's going on? There will be a conversation about this, but what's happening is they're gaining recognition for something they're doing outside of your connection and they're meeting that goal. The world is finally, like I'm able to complete something and we can kind of have this new beginning. You've got your last major arcana there. I think they have been closed off with the moon and I do feel like they will continue at times to be a little closed off. But they're also gonna remember to show you love and to tell you how much they care about you because it's something they truly believe in. With the world, yeah, the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, they're studying something. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But that Page of Pentacles can be a student. He's typically the student of the deck. 
he has something in mind that can build and bring in more potential. It's an offer, it's communication, but it's also learning something that you can build, right? You can turn that little pinnacle, that little guy, into the Ten of Pentacles, something that will bring future success. So this person is certainly um, successful. They will be throughout July, um, but they are a little bit anxious and worried about not being able to express how they feel, like taking time away from you. They don't like that. What's this page of Pentacles? Yeah, definitive energy, two of swords in reverse. A final decision is coming. What's this final decision? What's this two of swords? No more blocked energy. And the five of Pentacles. I've, again, there's that energy of you, you feel like that hot and cold energy from them. So again, with the swords, communication, you know, they're going to also, again, I keep feeling like this really important conversation and communication. And I think mostly because they feel that from you, like they need to do that for you. And the decision, there's no blindfold on. It has to do with them being cold and icy throughout the month, but that's not their intention. Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, money, stability, success, very, very nurturing energy. The Queen of Pentacles is also somebody you build a life with. You wife her up, you husband her up, whatever your situation is, right? It's very well-rounded, but it's very practical, very slow. There are talks about the future, and there are conversations here about Aries. I'm sorry if I've been distant or cold. I got a lot of shit going on, baby, and it has nothing to do with you. That's what I'm reading here for whomever I'm reading for Aries in love. Now, in the extended reading, we're going to dive deeper into their energy and make sure that this is the truth. I feel like it's truthful, but I also want to see what else is going on in their environment and how your connection moves out of July. Does it stop here? Does it move? Is there potential? Are they going to want to take it to the next level? We're going to find out all of that on the extended reading, so you'll know even more after viewing that. Other than that, subscribe to the channel if you wish. Leave your comments about the reading. Also, let me know favorite sign that you've dated in your life. I want to know because I'm nosy. And um, other than that, y'all, I love you hard, Aries. Love me hard back. I will see y'all over on the extended. Take care.